sometimes smaller things are better. So let's hear from Andy as he goes through the XD10, which is the smallest machine in Hamwar's range. Now, Andy, the XD10 yes. is your smallest machine. So what can you tell me about it and why should people be looking into the Hanwar range? Okay. Um, the Hanwar range, as, as a, an entire range, offers pretty much every option for sliding into parts up to 42 mil. There's a machine that will cater for any level of complexity, any size of part. As you say, 10 is our smallest current machine. Um, smaller footprint, you can stick it in the corner of your factory and it will sit there and churn your parts out. It's absolutely brilliant bit of kit. It's very complex tooling wise. Um, you can fit, it's about 20 tools in this one. And that's 20 tools on the smallest machine. So really you're never gonna run out of a tool for what job you can run through it. No, it will do most complex parts under 10 mil that you can think of. Uh, parts you wouldn't traditionally put on sliding head machines as well. But then, obviously, if you're buying a sliding head, you're, you essentially buy the right size sliding head for the work you've got. Generally speaking, we would advise you buy the machine correct for the work. I mean, you can expand them, it just gives you that bit of extra option. But if you're looking to source a machine to do the larger part, we would go to the next machine and it, you've then got that extra bit of capability. Now, everybody who's seen a sliding head or talked about a sliding head is essentially gonna know what's happening in here. Yeah. But what most people don't realize is, is what's actually happening on this side of the machine, but also what other softwares in the background you can get to keep these machines running. So before we get into that sort of software, can you talk me through the control, programming it? How easy is this to get up and running? Very, very quickly, very quick. Obviously it's dependent on how complex your part is. Obviously a more complex part is going to take a little bit longer to program to set up. But generally speaking, you can assemble programs in minutes for these, for, for, for your very basic jobs. So when people are thinking that you need batch works of 1,000, 2,000 to have a sliding head machine, yep. that myth sort of gone out the window now. Very much so. Traditionally, as I say, you, you wouldn't put anything under about 1,000 off on a sliding head machine because it's just not worth the setup time costs involved, not the case anymore. Um, if you've got five one-off prototypes to do, you can do them in a day. Um, it, very, capable, very capable. Now obviously that's programming from the machine, Yes. but what happens if I want, let's say somebody in my office just churning out program after program after program to keep this running? What software do you guys have, which not only works on the smallest machine, but works all the way through your range as well. So, program guidance software um, supplied by Hanwha. You can assemble your programs. We will supply you with custom modules and it's literally a drag and drop system. So you would look at a drawing and you traditionally you go, right, I need to spot drill, drill, turn, miller hexagon and part off. So you drag each of those modules in in the order you want to do them, change your dimensions appropriate to your job and that's your program. You can run an error check in the software and buzz it straight into the machine. And obviously that's gonna keep your machine running. And then with that, you don't have to do the same part over and over. You can do a multitude of different parts and just with the bar loader, as long as there's bars in the machine, the machine's gonna keep cutting. Absolutely, yeah. Managing directors don't really want people knowing, but they do go on holiday. Everybody does go on holiday at I've some point. I've heard it happens, yeah. <laughs> but what happens if I wanna keep this machine running while I'm on a beach? Okay. Can I keep an eye on it? Can I make sure it's running? Can I make sure the programs that it's meant to be running are actually there to be run? Yes. Um, so the PG Guidance software has a smart phone app. As long as you've got a Wi-Fi signal anywhere in the world, you can see your shop floor effectively. You can see every machine you've got linked up to that software. Uh, you can remote operate the machine, so you can put them on one cycle, you can start them, you can stop them, you can change offsets. Um, you really can almost as if you stood in front of the machine. Um, I wouldn't advise it as a, as a remote operator. You'd, I'd still recommend you have a guy stood next to the machine at some point, but yeah, you can monitor everything you would need to monitor from anywhere you can get that signal. So. Now obviously that must help with another problem we've got at the moment, which is a skill gap, because yeah. if, you, if your engineer, your programmer goes on holiday, this machine's not gonna run. But if you've got the software 
to run it while you're away, you only need, let's say you've got an apprentice. An apprentice could stand here and keep checking on it, and if anything's wrong, let them know and you can change it while you're away. In theory, yeah, if your guy, if your operator who stood there checking your parts comes off and you've got a tolerance that, let's say you've got a turn that's now sitting on top limit, um, you should be able to contact your operator and he could remotely adjust that offset and then the guy can check the next part. In theory, that would, that would work. So, just to finish this off then, obviously sliding heads have always been for thousands and thousands of parts but with the software and the backing from from you guys you can now run one-offs prototype but also keep this running when there's actually nobody stood in the building and if there is somebody stood in the building who isn't trained up on this machine but notices the tolerance is wrong yeah. you can change it from your phone and you never have to that that machine could wait a week for you to come back off holiday where now you can change it in minutes and you come back to a basket full of finished parts. Potentially, yeah. And because the software runs through, um, it's run through the Hanwell server, so it's got a dedicated server which runs the remote CPS, the high CPS software. If you have a fault on the machine, we can contact Korea and they can actually look at your machine remotely from Korea and check for any faults and then they can advise. Some things they might be able to fix remotely and other things they would advise us to come in and this is what you need to do, this is what you need to change.